Adobe Photoshop Elements and Premiere 15. <laughs> Hello and welcome to FM Review. I am your host, Freddie Robinson. Inside the box you get two discs. One will be for Windows operating system and one will be for Macintosh operating systems. You also get two leaves of paper. One is going to be basically an advertisement for your product and the second one is going to have a little bit of writing on it letting you know how to install it as well as your code for installing it. And now I'll just go ahead and put the disc in for the corresponding operating system. In this case it'll be Windows and I'll just go through the install wizard. been playing a lot of Diablo 2 lately, so that was in my disc tray. Now prior to this, I, I run three channels on YouTube. I have FM Review, Mike Wando, and Yo Retro Show. And if you can tell from the icons on my desktop, I mainly use Windows Movie Maker for all of those videos. I love that software. I know it like the back of my hand, but I feel like it's limited in a lot of ways more so for my FM review channel because I want to be I want to be up to date with how people edit videos. There's a lot of overlays and picture in picture options that Windows Movie Maker does not offer. So let's go ahead and explore Windows with my it's play disc. It's not showing, it's not reading. It's still reading that Diablo is in there. Let me just double click and see. Okay, here we are. Autoplay, Autoplay EXE. Let's just do that. Alright, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes, I do. And I apologize for the reflection. This, this, this type of screen is very reflective. So I'll just go in the same order. This is, uh, first thing I'll do is install Adobe Photoshop Elements 15 or click on it at least. Uh, let's see what happens. Taking its time. Okay, the install wizard starting. We've encountered the following issues. Machine restart may be pending. It is recommended that you quit the installer, restart your machine, and try installing again. Okay, well cool. Let's quit. Close, stop, and restart. Now we have the installer and its process. A little backstory on what piqued my interest in this software. I live close to three Walmarts because I'm in the middle of three different large cities. And two of those three Walmarts had Adobe, Photoshop, Elements, and Premiere, the combination package for version 13 for $30, $29.95. So I went to the cash register with one of them that I picked up out of the little on sale clearance bin and they scanned it. Everything went through but they was not able to activate it at the cash register. So I went back and got another version of or just another disc. Same thing happened two or three times at that Walmart. And my initial thought was that they just don't know what they're doing. So I went to the second Walmart and the same thing happened. So I came to the conclusion that Adobe itself must not be supporting version 13 anymore. Uh, okay, what option? Welcome, install, or try? No, I've purchased this. Okay, so install. Sign-in required. Well, I will have to create a sign-in to go any further. I'm not a member. This is my first time using the Adobe software, so... I will get an ID. I'll fill out this information and see you in a few minutes.
All right, I typed that information and I don't know if it's going to use my first and last name as my username or my email address as my username. Now I'll provide the serial number and see you in a few minutes. So I kind of got a little stuck on this screen where it says enter your serial number. Now I do notice that the piece of paper that came with the product has a redemption code. So it looks like there's a two code process in order to get this activated. So I'm looking at that little piece of paper and it's telling me the steps that I have to go through in order to get the serial number to register or go any further with the software. Which includes going to a website, creating an ID, which I already did earlier, and then a few more steps. So I will try to go through those steps and see if I can get any further with this install. www. Adobe, A D O B E dot com slash go get serial, which is one easy one to find. Let's search for that. All right, this is what I created earlier, so let's try that. I'll just skip this process. Okay, so I signed in properly. Enter your code to redeem your purchase. All right, I'll do that. All right, so what I done was I entered my redeem code in step two, and then once I did that in step three, it gave me the serial number that it was asking for on the previous install page. So I'll just copy and paste, or just write down those numbers and enter them in to go further with the install and I'll see you in a few minutes. Once the proper serial number has been entered, you do have this next install screen. Just be aware that this takes up 4.3 gigs of hard drive space. And now we'll go through the install steps, which 4.3 gigs may take a little while. I'll see you further down the road. The installation has been completed and I'm ready to use it. And now I will install Premiere Elements 15. Uh, the same screen that was here earlier. Since I bought this, I will go ahead and click on the install option. Sign in is required. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Accept the license agreement. And now I will enter the serial number, which I had to jump through hoops to get. And I will see you in a few minutes. Now I'm going to install Premiere Elements, and notice that it takes up 3.9 gigs of hard drive space. And now after 9 minutes of installation, Adobe Premiere Elements has been installed on my computer, and I'll go ahead and click close and hopefully start using this software. Now I'm back to my desktop and I do see that I have some icons, one for Photoshop and one for Premiere. I'll go ahead and close these other windows out. Open Photoshop Elements for the first time. We have Photo Editor, Organizer, and Video Editor. So I guess it opens up Elements and Video Editor. Elements, Video Editor. Elements, Video Editor. Um, what do we have here? Open a new project. Open a new project. I wonder if you just click on one of these, will it open up either or? Well, I have Photoshop Elements open, so I want to test that out. Video Editor. Yep, it does. Premiere Elements 15. That's, that's great. So actually, you don't need two icons on your desktop. You just need one because both versions of the software are available through either one that you open. 
Welcome to Premier Elements. Okay. And I guess down here is the status bar where it's loading the program. Well, it was. All right. <clears throat> the default window is add media. Create a template based movie. Tell your story using titles. Learn video editing. I'll be using a lot of this. No fear video editing. We'll guide you through it. So that's good. Hopefully that'll be easy enough for me to pick up on and I'm smart enough to pick up on what they're saying. Drop title. Drop files. Record narration. Drop audio clips. So I do like that. There are some similarities in the timeline between this and Windows uh, Movie Maker. So you simply drop a title wherever you want it in the timeline. I'm, I guess you can just drag this wherever you want as it relates to the timeline of your video. Um, let's see here. Undo, redo. Let's just add media. Go to documents. Mm, raw from camera. Sort. What was oh that was my son. Me doing a little bit of sweat. Let's see here. Add media. 100%. That was a big file. I think that was into the gigabyte size file. So, yep. All right. Let's see what can I do. Um, play. Render. Okay, so is this go to... All right, this is what's confusing me is edit points. edit points might be getting me because I want to simply right click and delete or right click and cut and then delete everything on the left side of my cut that's what I'm used to with movie maker add marker let me just back this up then um, pause Play. Okay, so here is where I want to cut this. My question is, where would, how would I cut it? Can I right click? Clear menu? Nope. Oh, okay, so hold on. That came up. Right click, delete, close, fade. Alright, so I just cut that. Now, if I do this, right click, delete and close gap. All right, now let's see. Click the beginning. Good, okay, that's exactly what I wanted. Drop title, let's just click on drop title. Title, general, outdoor, are there multiple title types? Motion titles, okay, contemporary directory. Um, let's go with a contemporary. Um, did I choose contemporary? Are these the only contemporary ones we have? Motion, contemporary. Um, perhaps, no, that's general. That's outdoor. Hmm. Well, let's just do this. Title. Ah, title. Okay, I don't want title. I want caption. I'm sorry. Caption is what I'd like. Okay, so let's rewind back. Play from the beginning. Okay. 
I'm happy with this. I think it's something that I can figure out relatively easy with, what is this? Open to view the effects which are applied to your clip. Okay, so the effects. Oh, let's see. There's the effects. My new video project. Apply transitions, which I'm, I'm used to. Add titles to your text or text to your clip. Okay, so let's see if I do that. Um, I don't know how to interact with that. Can I click here and do select, playback, magnify, and oh, wait, picture in picture settings. So I do want picture in picture eventually. I just got to figure out how to uh, record, drop audio. I don't need that yet. Add graphics to your clip. Add audio. That's what I'd like to do, but I don't know how to do it. Do I just drag that over? I click there. Do I need to click here? Okay. I didn't want to do all that. Let me undo. Um, use various tools to edit your clips. Open to view effects. What effects does this have? Motion, opaque? No, I don't want that. Wait, what is this? Apply to enhance your clips. What is this? Okay, it's just something different. I want to know how you add text to the clip, though. That's what I'm after. Let's just say show all and see what we have here. Alright, so I guess you have to select the type of text that you want. I just wanted like a lower lower third or whatever that's called down at the bottom. Uh, what is that? That says formal something. Uh, yeah, something like this. Okay, that's what I want. Do I double click it or how do I do this? Online content download. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's download that and see how it goes. Twelve minutes of this stuff. Okay. Well, I think I'm happy with this software. I'm going to play around with it and figure it out and start editing my videos using this software. So be on the lookout for a change in my videos and my channels in general because I'll be using this new software which is going to make things look a little bit different. Bear with me and I'll do my best to to make the best quality video content that I can. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave a comment below and uh, subscribe and uh, I'm forgetting everything to say myself. <laughs> have a great day.